In today's video, I'm going to show you how to beat the meta defense that pretty much everybody is running right now in Madden 22, and that is man-to-man -man coverage, specifically cover one robber. I put out a video uh, probably about a month ago talking about this concept and kind of diving deep into why it is so effective, and I'm going to show you a way that we can actually manipulate this coverage and allow ourselves to be able to have some consistency in terms of beating man-to-man -man defense. Now, if you are new to the channel, I want to ask you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button button it's completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies that we release every single day here on the youtube channel also want to take a quick second and just mention our patreon it is a brand new month which means that my patreon membership we're going to be adding a ton of new content i've got new ebooks on the way i think i've got two or three planned for this uh this month I actually just had a, a skiing injury where i tore my MCL and tore my ACL. So going through some of the rehab process on that. So uh, content can be a little shaky, uh, but for right now, like I said, I've already got stuff planned, already got stuff scheduled in there. So you guys are gonna get a lot of good stuff uh, and by joining the Patreon, it's a great way to support me as a creator. Uh, so if you wanna check that stuff out, there'll be a link in the description of the video below for you to be able to join it. It's got all my Madden 22 eBooks in there. I've got 15 of them. Uh, and we're gonna hopefully be adding, like I said, two to three, uh, planning on how my surgery goes uh, well, over the course of the next couple of weeks. Uh, into the patreon for you guys we're also going to have a ton of updates with the mcs and some of the breakdowns of that stuff too so if you want to know what the best of the best are doing join the patreon for only ten dollars a month there's a link in the description if you want to sign up for it okay guys now this setup can honestly if you have a uh, hot route master which at this point in the year most people have hot route master this uh is a really really easy setup if you don't have Hot Rod Master, just use the play Pats YN. We're in the New England Patriots Offensive Playbook. Use the play Pats YN. But for those of you that do have Hot Rod Master, really what I'm what I'm getting at here, um, if you don't have Hot Rod Master, chances are you probably have tight end apprentice or outside apprentice, so you can create this. If you don't, you most of it's in the play can be found in this play Pats YN. So I'm not going to spend a ton of time talking about Pats YN uh, because I personally run it out of PA Counter Go. But the routes that you need, a skinny post and a, and a deep dig or deep post to tight end, those are the routes that we're going to be utilizing uh, Hot Route Master to be able to create on the field. Now, what we're going to do uh, whenever we get a significant dose of this Cover One Robber is uh, we are going to run this concept. And what it is is we're going to create a natural pick and a natural rub between the number three receiver in the trips and the number two receiver in the trips. So what we're going to do here is we're gonna slant Scotty Miller, we're gonna zig Chris Godwin, we're gonna post our tight end, and then we're gonna post, uh, put the outside receiver on a skinny post. So you see, this is what the route looks like. We don't have to worry about pressure because we have a great pass protection scheme in this blocked running back out of a play action. It's why we like PA counter go so much. We're gonna snap the ball, cancel that play action, and what you're gonna notice is your slant is gonna get open over here. Now, what this is going to force from your opponent is a decision. We basically force them into having to make a decision about how they want to guard us. Now, typically, they're going to be guarding the running back. Remember, we're, our running back is going to be blocked. So let's say, for example, they decide that they're going to guard the tight end. Well, in that example, if they decide they're going to guard the tight end, then what we're going to do is try to hit this slant route or the zig route. So you see here, notice this zig's not that bad. It's actually fairly consistent. If they press you out of cover one robber, this is why cover one robber to me is a little bit better uh, press than not press because if they don't press you out of this, you will be able to throw your zig route pretty much 100 times out of 100. You're going to see right there, it just gets wide open. And as you can see, it gets wide open. But if they do press you, then what you're going to want to look for is you're going to want to look for, so let's say you get a, a press animation on the outside that kind of communicates to you. They are running press coverage. Then that's where you want to really work your slant post concept um, over the middle of the field here. And it's going to be primarily what does their user do? Notice how they're going to create a natural pick and rub on it. And you see late in the play that that slant route is going to come open. So when you start playing you know, good players, what they're gonna start doing is they're gonna start saying, well, we don't wanna have to deal with that. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're actually going to user that player right there. Well, now what that's gonna do for your offense, pretty much you know you've won the game, honestly, when you can get them to user your slam because your zig should be open late. And then also most importantly here, your tight end post, if he's, if he's 
you know, playing good man coverage, say you have a really bad tight end, which is honestly unlikely at this point in the year. Uh, most of you, your tight end is going to get wide open on this. But let's just say in the off chance that he's not a good route runner like Gronkowski, you just want to aggressive catch that. And if you aggressive catch that, it will be pretty much 90% of the time consistent in terms of how they're going to be able to get to, uh, to uh, play defense on you. So now what they're going to have to do out of their cover one is they're going to have to drop this guy into a curl flat zone uh, so that they can guard everything that we have on the field. And this is where you can actually take advantage of them if, for whatever reason, they're not having any man coverage on the running back, which if they're using right here in a cover on robber scenario, it's very likely that they don't have any man coverage on the running back. So what I want to show now is I'm going to actually go with the uh, post route from the tight end, and we're going to go ahead and man this guy up on the running back. And this is another kind of variation of this. Once you notice that they're dropping a lot of people, you can go to this setup right here, and all we're going to do is take the running back and put him on an out. Out. And what you're going to see is by putting that running back on an out, he's going to beat man coverage, and we're going to take you know an easy five uh, to seven to ten yards. And then the last thing that I want to show you here real quick as far as in terms of how this is going to work for you in terms of its ability uh, to be able to beat man-to-man, -man, because they have to drop this guy in a zone over here to defend that, and now they have to guard the running back, and you know now they have to guard the slant, of course. They're going to carry that slant across. They're going to trust that they're going to be able to guard this skinny post over the top. The problem is oftentimes the skinny post will get wide open. If it and if it doesn't get open, obviously you don't want to throw it, but if he has a step on the player, uh, you want to look for this skinny post. And I'll show it one more time here uh, to alleviate just some setups and adjustments. I'm just going to drop this guy in a vertical hook to kind of simulate their user um, helping out on the on that little slant uh that slant post concept but anyways what this should do is it should leave a one-on-one -on -one for mike evans who has deep out elite if you're playing this in mutt or regs you want deep out elite out there if possible and as you can see he gets wide open okay so that's an easy easy formula for running this concept that's going to allow you to have very much so a high degree of consistency regardless of what they do from a man coverage perspective um, if they run covered, if they run a five-man pressure, uh, which is very popular, let's say they run a five-man uh, little blitzing concept. Well, this is really easy to beat with this. Literally, just throw the zig route. Trust me on this. Your zig, because it doesn't get jammed here, is wide open every single time. And as you can see, it just keeps the moving, uh, keeps the offense moving forward. Guys, I want to thank you for watching the video. If you like this video, you want to learn more about the Trips Tight End Formation, or if you just want to support me as a creator, I would really encourage you to consider joining our Patreon. It's only $10 a month. we got a lot of stuff coming out. I've got 15 offensive and defensive guides in there today. Literally, as soon as you sign up, you'll get access to all of that stuff, um, as well as all the updates. So anything that we find new, we throw out an update pretty much two to three times a week. And then, like I said, I'm working on uh, two or three new ebooks for the month of uh, February. Guys, please bear with me. Like I said, I did have a pretty bad accident this last weekend in which I'm probably going to have to have surgery on my ACL and my MCL. But we're going to continue to pump out content for you. Um, it just might be a little slow on those guides, but we should be able to still be posting updates and stuff like we normally do. It's just sometimes, uh, for me, it's a little bit hard to sit and record for hours upon end. So anyways, thanks for watching the video. If you want to uh, join the Patreon, there's a link in the channel, so you can click that link and go get signed up for just 10 bucks a month. And you can cancel whenever you want. So thanks for watching. If you're still watching, you want to check it out, head on down to the description and go check out that link that I put down there for you.